Men's basketball looking to snap a three-game losing streak on Saturday afternoon against Plymouth State University and improve to 7-5 and five in Little East Conference play. And just like with the women's game, it would be raining threes for the men as well. Mariana Olivia Rodriguez from the corner and then Manny Zayas up top give the Beacons a 6-5 to five lead and then Bobby Joy caps off a run for the Beacons with a three of his own. It's 9-5 to five in favor of the home team of Plymouth State responding with a 9-0 run. Connor Walden breaks it up with a three, makes it 14-12. to 12. But then the dunk of the day, the dunk of the season, the dunk possibly of the year in the nation, Malik Lorquette. Goes high over Avery Hazelton, who's a towering 6'9 center for Plymouth State. And he just posterizes him down low. You see it in slow-mo there. And just like that, momentum would shift in favor of the Beacons. And they would roll the rest of the way. Lorquette with a layup down low helps put the Beacons up by 5. And then Connor Walden goes to work with a layup of his own Beacons. Up by seven at that point. We head to the second half, an 8-0 run to start the second half. Tommy Burris capping it off with a three to make it an 11-point game. And then right back to Walden, who finished this game with 11 points off the bench in 14 minutes, four of eight shooting. You see his last layup there, an and one opportunity makes it a big double-digit lead for the Beacons. But then right back to Malik Lorquette who had himself a big day, 28 points, 18 rebounds, his 17th double-double the season, 10 of 20 shooting in 36 minutes for the big man, and then an, an emphatic dunk right there in the late stages of the second half, and then to cap off his big day, he sets the rebound record, breaking Terry Kennedy's record of 788 career rebounds. He gets 789 after his 18 rebound performance. The Beacons get a big 82 to 66 win at home to improve to seven and five in conference play. The Beacons will look to keep the good times rolling on Wednesday night against Castleton University at home at 7:30 p.m.